एज अ इंडियन मुस्लिम आई ओनली वॉन्ट टू पुट आउट थ्री कंसर्न ऑन दिस इशू ऑन द मथुरा इशू आई विल नॉट गिव एनी माइथोलॉजिकल स्टोरीज और एनी रिटोरिक्स टेक ऑफेंस fact that there is one person who's calling the birth and the description of krishna's logical stories on what basis does he claim that and who is he to comment upon that which part of the uh, speaking that me and my co-panelists did did sound to him like a mythological story were there any what comments made about what islam or about christian what, what, what is it he has no is it my mythology to comment upon is it my mythology stories. what are you speaking is it in mythology you do not have the academic acumen to count about count about the mythological story first get your religion to find which is causing so much of disharmony around the world dushya 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 not, not be commenting me. about mythological dushan. stories this is not mythology this is shaf for us We believe in Krishna and Rama. You, you do not believe. Don't no look problem. Don't look for that. We believe. You don't look for that. None of, none, that. not one part of Krishna do I English. call as mythology. So you Get should not be using Krishna. That's your Hindu mythology. Like correct. the part of an elephant that consumed the hundred kgs of dali. Go get your English corrected. Namaskaram or no, and namaskaram to all my fellow panelists, and namaskaram to my viewers. I've been listening to all of them patiently. One at the outset, I would like to welcome the course, court's permission to do a survey. It is an academic archaeological survey. That's all. It is just determining the character of the monument. Not. thing more no muslim of today is going to be held responsible there is no we can't preempt courts decisions one point number 2 with respect to krishna's worship or not to enlighten some of your viewers um, we have one of the earliest of course besides the bhagavata purana the vishnu purana the mahabharata talking about krishna's birthplace which is being mathura we have a 5th century bce grammarian the famous panini in one of his sutra states vasudeva arjuna bhyam un so he does talk about the worship of vasudeva vasudevasya puman vasudeva the son of vasudeva being krishna we have uh, mathura be mentioned as mehtora and megasthenes works we have the pillar that talks about uh, uh, krishna being the god of gods now coming to the the, the desecration of the temple or no it has happened over seven times as per all the historical accounts and uh, it started with uh, muhammad ghaznavi then it happened during the times of uh, qutbuddin aibak and every time it got rebuilt and something very uh, shocking or no a, a person called abdullah during the times of jahangir states that the temple was destroyed and the idols were used by the butchers to measure the meat it was used as measuring blocks and later in 1670 27th of january we have the mention that aurangzeb ordered for the destruction of the temple and he also said that the idols need to be placed beneath the steps of a certain mosque so that the devout muslims can trample upon the idols of the infidels i'm just quoting the statement so very well it has been established through history time and again through various accounts both by indians and by foreigners that there was a temple and it was destroyed time and again so let me not get into what the courts will do after the survey has come but the survey is the right archaeological and academic way of determining the character of the uh, monument there is nothing more that we can preempt about what can come from the survey and what the courts can decide